Well, Mark and Whitney, while the fire season has been a slow start, that doesn't mean that fire districts have not been busy. In fact, they've actually been using some of this time to try to recruit new members and new firefighters. If you take a look at Spokane County Fire District 10's Facebook page, you can see several postings asking for volunteers to join them in their mission of protecting their community. According to Deputy Fire Chief Don Malone, the department received a grant which helped pay for the added advertising. But getting volunteers is a year-round mission for fire crews. A lot of our volunteers that come to work with us, um, they're looking for full-time career jobs as well. So a lot of times we'll train them, we'll get them up, we'll get them in their EMT, we'll get them on shifts, and they're only here for a couple years until they get hired off somewhere else. So it's kind of a revolving door. Malone says right now Fire District 10 has about 15 career firefighters and around 60 volunteers, but the ideal number would be even higher, around 75. But it's not just numbers they take into consideration. Where I would rather have 30 volunteers that are just totally engaged 100% of the time. Um, so it's really a balance of how much activity that they can respond to or be a part of. Across the county, in Spokane County Fire District 3, they're also trying to recruit more volunteers. Fire officials here say yes. they've held steady over the years, with volunteer numbers staying around 125. However, officials say their call numbers have gone up about 10% each year, and their participation has also dropped over the years. I think life gets in the way. People are busier now uh, than they have been. The drive to hire more firefighters is a big part for Fire District 3's first EMS levy. If it passes, Brunke says it could help drop response times and staff more stations. Yet even with more calls and lower participation numbers, fire officials say they're ready for whatever call sparks up. The volunteers have a big heart, special heart, and uh, when we need them, we call them and they'll come running. Now voting on Spokane County Fire District 3's EMS levy takes place on the upcoming August ballot. In Spokane County, Cody Proctor, Crem2 News.